Hey, Mikey, here I am, I'm up here. Okay, bitch. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Ooh, that's the Forsaken Fortress. Scary shit. Mm -hmm. Well, what's up with you? What were you doing, Nico? I was going bowling. Hey, Nico, you wanna go bowling? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed island known as Forsaken Fortress. Nod. Lol, I know this game off by heart. Damn straight. There are all sorts of strange rooms about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the hideout of no good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there. By that window. Now I'm looking. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. No shizzle. This won't work. We'd be spied before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? What? Hog nose. I'm a barrel. Look, don't struggle. If you ever want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It's a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Warning, this following cutscene has no sound effects on an emulator, so I'm going to use my own sound effects. Never you fear, kid. We're pros going to launch you good. Three. Two. Oh, now it has sound effects. One. Yee. weird previous uh previous attempts at doing this it's never had sound effects on dolphin i guess the new revision fixed that so yay oh no shizzle oh crap we've not got our sword forsaken fortress technically our first dungeon even though it's pretty easy we're gonna finish this fast Lol, you're wet. Oh god, no. Your sword landed all the way out there. Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologise. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. Heh, <laughs> the look in your face. Priceless. What the? <laughs> I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I could see what you were doing through the stone, and obviously you can hear me through it, so if you see A glowing, you better press that button. I put the stone on your quest start screen. Press start and use LRR to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? Understand? So yeah, this is the true Metal Gear. <laughs> Gotta be a barrel, man. And we're gonna go up here, because this is where we need to go. And we don't need rupees. You gotta stay still if the searchlight's on you, while you're in the barrel, because they're not that stupid. And the lights are pretty glitchy on an emulator, but whatevs. I think we're safe. Don't get caught. Thank you. Because if you get caught, you get thrown into a, a prison. They don't actually hurt you. So let's go through this door. Hmm. Let's go get that trigger. What's in here? Crap! No! What am I doing? Oh, that was horrible. I think I feel the jump cut coming on. Crap, this is where the prison is. You gotta be kidding me. Yep. Actually, let's show this off. See, this is true Metal Gear. I can't believe I did that. I tried to press A to open the chest, but, uh... I kind of pressed forward while I'm doing By the way, these are Moblins. And... 
they're not idiots. I think they actually check when you're near them. Check the barrels when you're near them. Yeah, I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. Heh heh heh. More. Oh crap. Yep, I forgot about that. Well, it's a good, it's a good way to show it off. Because we can get some extra rupees. And I guess it's going to take longer than usual because I felt like being an idiot. Yeah, you uh, go up here, and you go wee, and you go, and you go smash, and you get a rupee, and then you go in here, and yeah. I seriously can't believe I did that, but whatever. It's an experience. Alright, where are we? Okay. Where are we? Oh, this is where we should have been anyway. So, it wasn't that big of a deal. It's good to show it off. Watch this not be worth it. Oh, wait. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm getting an item. I got the map. And you press up to view it. It, it, it just shows you a, a mini map. No, not a mini map. It shows you the dungeon map. So yeah, this technically is a dungeon. Coolio. Let's go through here. I think this is where we were. If there's a thing to the side, then I am right. Yes, okay. Hello. What was that? Listen up, Mikey. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then maybe you'll just shut it down the searchlight. I cannot speak English. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? Oh yeah, I was a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if I can make it drop its weapon. If you could do that, you could pick up the weapon with A. But that's just me. Well, you do. We get it, you're a tutorial. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be a pot. Jump, 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 jump. Pop, 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 pop. I need pop. I need pop. Give me, give me, give me pop. Oh, never mind. Come at me, bro. Come on. Hit me. Hit me again. Yeah, man. Thank you. Ah, he's got no weapon. Alright, yeah, you can throw the weapons if you want to. But I'm just gonna eat. Wow, I'm stuck. Thank you. I'm just gonna use this pot. I don't even think that hurt it. Wow, suck more. Kill. Die. Eh. Did you drop anything? Oh, a heart. Yay, thank you. Anyway, this blocked out the uh, the searchlight. We need to get to that room, so I think we're done. How are we going to get up there? If I remember correctly... We have to try around the back. <laughs> this door, I think. Just keep looking at the map, and you'll you, you'll get the uh, general direction of where you need to go. It's a pretty, it, it's easy. It's a tutorial dungeon. Yeah, is it up here? I think so. Every time you go through one of these doors, it it leads inside and outside, and vice versa. So it's it's it's. It's easy to know where you are. I think it's up there. Yep, it's this way. Because that cutscene showed us. Jump, 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 jump. Or is it? Oh no, this is the shortcut to get down. Um. This is, yeah, you push the box off and you you get a little step to go on that ladder. So, through this door, out the other end, and we should be fine. And we can save our sister. Any chests? Nope. If this is a big room, I think we've done it. Nope, maybe one more. Where are we? 
Okay, so it's all the way up there. What am I doing? Yeah, it, it kind of does the cutscene every time you... Yeah, there we go. Well, okay. Aha! Uh -huh, I've got it, Mikey. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister's been held, you have to find the room right below the tower. The path to that tower begins in the rear of that room. You got that? So yeah, this room. And we're done. Well, we're not done yet. I mean, go through this room, go across the edge, and then we're done. Like, that's the only spotlight. Oh, yeah. More Metal Gear. That's the only... The spotlight that I took down is the only one that you'd need to do. Otherwise, there's a spotlight on the, uh... On the side, where you go across. I'm not here. Yeah, there'll be a spotlight on the side, and it'll catch you, because you can't move fast enough to get out of the way. Oh, God. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Camera, don't screw me over. And I think we're fine. Let's go. This is a pretty. I, I, I kind of like this dungeon. I mean, it, it's easy and it, it, it's kind of boring. But I, I, like, I like the aesthetic and stuff. That's a big word. Stuff. Oh, I'm being dull. Ah, oh, here's another barrel. What's this used for? Oh, right, yeah, because there's a moblin right there. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneak. Sneak, sneak. Hi, I'm not here. Stop pretending like there's something here. So. Drum, 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 drum. Hi, I'm not here. Oh, why'd you have to stop right in front of me? Really? I'm trying to find a good... How am I going to move? Good, good. Oh, shizzle. Just walk that way and we'll be best of friends. Thank you. Thanks, babe. Uh, call me. Now let's go get our sword back. Oh, God. Phone noises. I think I'm gonna get a call. Or something. Yeah, this is the... No, 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 this part. There we go. We get to sidle. Siddle. Sidle, sidle, sidle. Yeah, this is the speed. So it's a bit, uh... You know. I like the face he makes, though. Been my little... Little solid sneaks. It's, uh, this... This wall. This wall has a spotlight on it. And it will catch you. Because it goes down there, then goes... Up there, and then it goes down there. And you can't move fast enough, because this is the speed you're limited to. And if you let go of A, you are going to fall all the way down. Unless you aim yourself at a platform. Which is why you're trying to deliberately fall down. I do not know, but whatevs. Oh, there's my sword. Gimme. Hi, I'm not here. Do -do -do. You got the hero. You got back the hero sword you dropped. Now you're in business. Now take care not to drop it again. Okie dokes. Easy. Why is it playing this music? Easiest boss. See you. Did you drop anything cool? No, you didn't. Thanks, dick. Wasting my time. But at least we got the sword back, and we can look cool. Let's go save our sister. She better be in here. She better be in here. Hmm. What's that? What? Why is there like five other girls? Hmm. Yeah, boy. Hog nose. It's a bird. Kill it. I'ma kill you, fiend. Okay, guys, it's the first boss fight of the game, and, uh... Yeah, we suck. <laughs> yeah. 
tell we're gonna go far. Hey, where are you taking us? Oh no, who is that? Is that who I think it is? It is. It's Bean Burrito Boy. Oh god. Hello. Uh, <laughs> okay. Dick. Jesus Christ. That bird is strong. Oh dear. Oh, the night sky, it's so beautiful. Oh, God. Well, this is the end of the Zelda Let's Play. Thank you for watching and take care. Oh, wait, there's kind of a vote. But we're dead, I think. Death in a children's video game. Video game, but video game. Mikey. Mikey. Wake up, Mikey. Okay. Oh, pull yourself together, Mikey! What the? Where are we? We're on a boat, man. And there's no one here, man. Because we're on a boat, man. Hmm. Well, have you come to your senses yet? Maybe. Oh god, it's a talking boat! You're surprisingly dull-witted. Oh shit. Did I startle you? I suppose that is the un that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. Better not be. Mikey, <laughs> I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearless and stand up to anything, but such a bold attempt was so foolhardy. Ugh. I just had a jubilee. Ugh. I suppose you saw him, a shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. To defeat Ganon! Squad alarm, we are Oh god. He who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to come to land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power that he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the gods have sealed. Seal. <sighs> I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed. But now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by its evil magic. Tell me, Mikey, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Well, sure. And um, will you do anything to save her? Sure, sure. <laughs> I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon could not be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in the great pa in the great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yes. In that case, we depart to the great sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me. But although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail, and a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I brought you to the far, far to the east of the dark gates of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I'll be useless to you. Okay, boss, whoever you are. Oh yeah, the King of Red Lions. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sale must come first, do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your er errands are done. Okay. Why, I, why do I stutter? Why am I so antisocial? Oh, so this is Windfall Island. Oh, yeah, like the cutscene tells us. So we need to get a sail. And this is actually one of the main towns. It's kind of, uh, to be honest, it's it it's got a lot of side quests. But you know, oh god, who are you? Oh oh oh! If you please, young boy, there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. You know, 
That's terrible. That's just awful, terrible, you mean child. What harm could it possibly do to listen to blah, blah, blah. I don't care. He's for a side quest later, as you can probably tell. Oh god, it's Elvis man. Hi. No, can't do anything with him yet. Also a side quest. So many side quests. Uh, we're not going to go in there because it actually scares me. And let's see what these kids want. Hello, kiddies. Um. Um. What are you doing? Okay. This town is our turf. The turf of the world. Famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yeah, buzz, buzz. Okay, you're pretty scary. Uh, where am I going? Here. There's a woman we can talk to. Who is very important for later. Well, not very important. Talk, 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 talk. This isn't it. He's the creepy old guy that is almost a pedophile, but not really. Just ignore what I just said. Here it is. I don't know if we can read that sign. Okay. Techilab. Bez. Tequila Bez. I'm gonna... yeah. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Marie's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you new people? Well, never mind, okay. Must be later. Just ignore me, okay? I pro right, everyone say, Mikey, your priority is the sale. Go and get a sale. And I'll be like, okay, I'll go and get a sale. So the reason we got the uh, hundred and some rupees before on uh, Outside Island is so we can pay for the sale. It's actually sold by this guy. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizz blow violently heading towards this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I travelled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped with so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say... You are a traveller as well. Oh yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is one my one and only heirloom from my home. The people of this town do not seem least bit interested in that, despite the fact it, it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business here in town, so I'm desperate and need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? Ah, uh, buy it. Yes, 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 thank you very much indeed. I received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, take that! You got the boat sail. Set it to blah 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 and use it while on the boat sail across the sea. Press A to put it away. Yes, 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 you have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasured dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat her, yeah, whatever. He's clearly bullshitting, and if it was 80 rupees to start our own freaking business, I could have started like two. And be the richest link, I mean, Mikey, ever. Don't come up to me, please. You're an idiot. You're, you're a cretin. I don't know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit tight. Hello, King of Red Sails, King of Red Kings, King of King Red Lions King. Oh, that look in your eyes. So, you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well. Then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail you've got to Y, Z, or X, and press that same button to hoist it. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The arrow that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Use the analog stick to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep in, keep the wind blowing directly into my sail. You can always press A to put the sail away. Try it when you want to. What's your speed? Did you understand all that? Oh, yes. Oh, one more thing. When you're out at sea with few landmass to go by, you'll be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place which you currently be heading on your sea chart. If you had lost the sea, simply press up on the D-pad to open the chart and confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let it carry us to the east. Indeed. Let's get in. And let's go sailing for one of my favourite tracks in the game ever. Wait. We need to know where we're going. That's Outer Island. Now it's the Forsaken Fortress. Here. Yes. So let's just go. And let's listen to like the best freaking song in the game. 
I'm going to be silent, and then we're going to end this part. I love that song. Gives me tingles every time I listen to it. And look, seagulls! Yeah, boy. But yeah, this is one of the best things about this game. The This entire map is generated. And you can see, like, if I went to this island where I'm going now, I could see, like, this island. Every I could see other islands in the distance. It's it's really open and it makes, you f makes it feel the world feel big, which it really is. It's a really big, really, oh, I love it. <laughs> but once we get to this island, I'm going to end this part and listen to the best song in the game, even though I just said The Great Sea is the best song in the game, but this one is actually the best song in the game because it's the best song in the game and I love it. Yay, cutscene collecting my rupee. There, on the horizon. On ha 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 ha. This is our destination, Maggie Dragon Roost Island. Oh my god. Love this song, love this song, love this song, love the best song in a game I just said. High atop this island peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. Do -do -do. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is the Battle of Swords that was used long ago when the people played music and prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I don't know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. This is basically like the Ocarina of Time. First, conduct in free quarter time. Do not touch analog stick left or right. Just try to match the rhythm by tilting the C stick up, down, and right. Yeah, but this is just basically the uh, Ocarina of Time. I'll show you now. You could just do this. <laughs> I can't believe I hit that first note. <laughs> Very nice. That was splendid. Next is full time, I guess. Hold the analog stick left to change the rhythm, and then do that. So you hold it left, and then you just match it. Easy. That's it, Mikey. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct with it in six quarter time by tilting it to the right. You would do well to remember that, yes. You received the legendary Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Set it to blah 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 and blah 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 and blah 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 the blah 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 So this was the end of whatever part because I've been recording for like two million hours. So in the next part we are going to explore this island. Can you see the dragon from here? No, it's covered by clouds. But yeah, I love this island. Anyway, look, this is what I meant. You can see that island in the distance. You can see one there. You can see one there. I think that's actually Windfall Island. Yep, that's Windfall Island. The island that we've just come from. That's it. <laughs> There's a little thing there. This is a house. But seriously, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, see you next part. I'm gonna wee.